Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel. Today we are making, I've got seven envelopes. I was going to do six, but I decided to do seven. There is another one as well, but I forgot what it is now. I thought of it. Oh, uh, an even weirder thing. I've done a, weird, a couple of weird things here. Anyway, I've got, uh, this is number seven. This is number seven. That's number six. That's number five. That's number four. That's number three. That's number two and that's number one. And if you think if you like the papers, uh, Rockwell Design Crafts, all these papers, I've got four kit, kits I was able to use. Um, thank you, Jackie. So I'll, I'll tell you about what which ones I'm using during the video. I've got bold flowers in pink, which is this one. And yes, they are bold. They're gorgeous. Look, and that, this is why I chose it because of the sp splatters of paint. <laughs> Holly Hot College Hodgepodge Fussy Cuts, which Fussy Cuts, which are these? These thing, these here, and this. There's lo they've got, I've got. I'll show you the sheets on on the video. Right, uh, engraved flowers journal kit, which is. Right, I've got a bit of a mix here because I've got engraved flower. No, that's not the engraved. No, I'm trying to show you the mi mi middle of it. Right, that's the engraved. I did. I use this because it, it looks like um, security envelopes in that sort of colour. Put it on there as well. Yeah, on there as well. Yeah, and uh, engraved flowers. Um, yes, I chose it because I like the I like the black and white. <laughs> But I haven't, I've used the, mainly the, the other side for the uh, for these. Right, and the other one is um, Vintage Postcard Journal Kit, which is absolutely, look at this, love it. Yes, I've got, I've put a card in one of the envelopes and I've used it for that. So that's the, look at that, it's so nice, isn't it? So you've got that option. There's postcards in it. There's um, random items you can put on your postcards as well. But I, li I like the idea of the uh, backs of the postcards as well because that's useful. I think that's very useful. You can put what you like on the front. You don't have to stick to anything. You can just use those. In fact, I think that would be nice actually. <laughs> stick something like that on the postcard. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Right, and then perhaps some of something like that as well. Yeah, right then. And um, let's say we're going to go in a minute. We're going to show you these seven envelopes. I've inspired to make them because I saw somebody. I saw somebody had done a video who makes cards, but I don't know if the variety was the same as as much variety of what I've done. This is just for, these are aimed at people who do junk journals, but obviously you can use them for anything, can't you? You could send them in the post if you like. Why not? If you made if you made it and glued it well, you could put an address on and send it and glue it down. You can do that. You can use it as pen friend stuff. You can obviously put that in your journal. We often put things like this in our journals. That'd be nice at the front because you've got a bit of a a bulk there. It'd be nice at the front or the back of a journal. I've made those before, but big, quite wide ones. And um, yes, we use them to make, put messages in as well. Put stick them in a journey. You can stick that down to a page and just have that, or you can clip it in and all that. And um, make the simplest one in the world, which I got. Um, that from a pamphlet paper outpost. <laughs> I've done it as well on video. So please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video with your friends. Press the notification bell with the craft, your crafty fingers. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please uh, join my uh, Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts. That'd be great. Thanks so much. Lovely people on there. All right, so let's go. Right, I'm going to have a go now making one of these. I want to make one a little bit smaller than this. I'm going to try and make it so you, it doesn't matter which way round things are. Okay, so I'm going to use a six inch piece of uh, 
paper and they make absolute gorgeous envelopes as well <laughs> there we go so right i'm going to find out where the middle is now i'm going to be very careful because oh no it's not going to show me the middle is it there's my bent one that's one that got stuck in the drawer and got bent all right okay doing it because there's less oh it makes it about 21 that's easier to me that is let's have a look just over 21 so that's just over ten and a half, isn't it? So it's around here somewhere. And I'll do it that way as well. That should be the middle. Actually, shouldn't it if you're doing corner to corner? Yep, that's the middle. There's the middle there, look. In inches, let me tell you what it is. I should know now, shouldn't I? Right, that's J. I thought it'd be four something, but I wasn't sure. Four point two, three, four, six, four and a half sixteenths. <laughs> So for something thirty tooths, I suppose. Eight oh no, it can't be eight thirty tooths. Five thirty tooths, I don't know. Somewhere around there. Right, I'm gonna find out which one I want for the top. Shall we go for this? So for the bottom. So I'm gonna do well, there's the point there. So I'm gonna try and follow that point and do a little bit further. Like that. Ooh. Right, I haven't decided whether I want that line yet, so I've got to be careful. It's not gonna be bent too much. Right, I'm gonna do the same here. Perhaps I don't want it quite so much. Or oh, the good thing about using these, you've got sort of like you can tell whether it's a straight line or not, whether you're doing a straight line. So let's do that about the same. Let's just over there. So you can guess or you can measure. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing as usual. Right, and then I'm going to put this up. So I want to make a little fold that I want to fold these little bits so that I can cut them out right but if I put that there because normally that actually goes to one side so let's make sure it doesn't <laughs> I think I like that so now I'm going to cut out these little ooh, where, are, where are they can't even tell really can you because I haven't done the lines properly let's do it properly now right there here and here and I'm leaving the top for a reason because sometimes I get caught out and I want to move the top up or down, so let's have a look. So I'm cutting these out. Being over so careful because I can't see even with my glasses on, yeah. Right. There we go. Come on, that's it. Do as you're told. Right, uh no, I haven't done that one yet. Alright, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that. Right, you can either you can fold that down or cut it off or leave it. For the time being, I'm leaving it. Now let's have a look, do I want that? Where do I want that? Do I want it a bit further down? Or do I look, am I going to leave it? Because you can actually move it where you like, you know, if you haven't. If you haven't there, let's get that a bit further down like that. There we go. So you can make it what shape you like, how big you like. That would take a card of three and a half by three and three quarters. Or, a, yeah, journaling card, I mean. Right, okay, um, yes, journaling card. Or, or card itself. Right. Uh, okay, right, I can't see where I put, where have I put my line. Right, it's here somewhere. I think it's here. That doesn't make sense. Right, I'm going to fold that there and fold that there. Right, it seems to be here. Right, hopefully that's right. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't look straight, but <laughs> yeah, does it look straight? Yeah, it is straight, so what's going on there then? It's telling me, my watch is telling me to move. <laughs> move! <laughs> look, I'm doing a video, dear. Right, okay. There we go. So let's put this on. Whoops, getting it everywhere. Oh, right. So I'm going to. Oh, I could actually. What you could do is actually ink it up first. But no, we won't do that. Let's do it. Just ink it up around that edge. Oh, that's gonna. That's moving. <laughs> now I'm going to. I don't think I need to move that thing because it's not too big, is it? I mean this. I'm not this thing here. I don't need to move it. Or I could actually bend it. 
in like that. You can actually glue it if I if I thought I could have glued it, but no one. Right, I got that right. Yeah. So that's that's number one. Yeah, that is number one. But I'm just going to put because I've been using green a lot because I think green goes really well with it. You can if you can if you did want to stick that to this um, back of your page, you can leave, leave it. You can't really tell which way round it is because it's full of flower, isn't it? And it's so pretty. <laughs> Right then, so we could. I think you would most likely use this side, wouldn't you? So I'm going to. Right then, so what I've done is I've cut out a word. I decided which green to use because there's two different green. Uh, this is um, Jackie's design as well, Rockwell Design Crafts uh, words. Right, ah, do you know what I like about these though? They think they look a bit plain, don't you? But they're not really. This is why I bought them actually, <laughs> and I did buy these. I bought these. Right. Right, so originally that's what I bought these. This is why. Right. I bought these originally because I like them because you could just do what you like on the background. Like this, a little bit of faux stitching. That's what I bought them for. So that's what you can do, which is great, isn't it? That's what I originally got them for. <laughs> if I could do all that. That looks so well. That goes so well with because it's got those little splashes on there. Right then, so number two now. So let's go to our next one. I'm going to use these again for our next one. Okay, I'm not, let's just go down the line. Let's go for this one. Look, that's all. Oh, yeah, that's all. Look at that look there. And, uh, yay, you probably have like a proper one, that is, isn't it? I love that. You don't even have to have a full sheet, actually. I'm going to use just this bit here. And should we have it about four and a half? I don't know, that sounds about right to me. Okay. We're leaving it upside down as well, aren't we, for this one? And that would come down there. Right, okay. Let's make it up to there-ish. Okay, then you've got a... Well, there's lots of green here, isn't there? Hmm. Yeah, all the actions on the back, isn't it? But never mind, we have to see how we go. Right. right, so I've got it like this. So what can we do now? We can do two things, which I'm going to do for the, other, the next one. Right. Um, yeah, so let's... You can leave one of these panels open uh, without cutting it. But let's do it like this instead. Right, so I've got a mark. I've got my fold there. It that way around or this way around it's that way isn't it i'm not going to make a big cut so i'm going to cut from there a little triangle there so i'll cut that out all the way up there i'm using that line but i can i'll show you in a minute all like that no that that <laughs> right you don't you know like the other thing where you've got um we use the triangle to when you've made a tag I suppose you could do it like that, then you could find out how much you need to get off. Just keep off, don't you? Right, so that needs to be about there, so I can do it with my little pencil. Okay, gently. But you can, I can also use these lines as well, so I can cut parallel with those lines. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out to there. And ooh, parallel to those lines, there we go. I'm going, cutting parallel to that line there. I'm also following my pencil mark. Okay. Can't see very well from here, that's why. It's like, it's like you know, I normally be a bit closer. Right, so that we're so going like that. And also what we can do as well is make a thumbnail there. I just got to find my thumbnail. <laughs> got this one and a half inch punch. Mm -hmm. Just making sure I've got both equal on either side. And I'm going to hold it there. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. I think that's about right. I know it's probably not right, but it's about right, isn't it? And you can fold these up. Like right, there's you. We could have had a little. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? Don't you cut that up, triangle off there? Okay. I'm just trying to cut a little triangle off. Actually, that one's smaller than that side. Mm, never mind. It's not going to be. It's at the back or the front, whatever you can, if you like. Do you know what? I've got a glue mat under here. I have got a glue mat under here, but it's um, easier to do it like this. 
So if you've got a glue mat under there, don't forget to move your stuff out of the way. <laughs> do as I do, not do, don't do as I do, do as I say, that's it. Right, there we go. So that's that perfectly like that. And then you can mess about with this because that's right up there. That's really close to there. So you can actually do it. You could do it as much as that, yeah. So what I can do now is, I probably should have done this first actually because it's quite hard to bend. Yeah, should have done it first. Right, so I'm going to match those up. And... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So having this little bit of fun like that, you can do this. Yes. That's a nice wobbly bit. So you've got a nice wobbly bit here. Yeah. Right. There we go. And then you can put something in there. Right in there. <laughs> that'll do, that'll do. That'll do, yeah. Did I get any on it? No, didn't I? Okay, so that's number two. Very good. I don't know where my, my um, prototype is, but anyway, it's a tubular one. I call this a tubular one. So you fold it up. Oh, right, I'm using the rest of that so seven seven inches or so, isn't it? Yeah, so it's about seven inches. And I'm going to fold it in. So we're going to get some sort of um, thing down the middle there. Right, I've got an idea with this one. Right. Does that, why does that not look straight? Probably because it isn't straight, yeah, that could be the reason. Right, okay. Let's get a bit. You know, if something doesn't look straight, it probably, <laughs> the reason is, is probably because it isn't straight. There we go, that's more like it, isn't it? Right, so you've just got to make sure you, if you know that it's definitely a straight line, you've got to make sure you've got it's all flush against the edge. Right then, so what did I do? Right, I can do this two ways. I'm going to, uh, should we do it, should we do the cutting first and the gluing after? Because you can do the gluing first and the cutting after, but I think I'm going to do the cutting first and the gluing after. Right, so decide how big you want your flap. This is the top. And it will be on, it will be on the tubular side, the uh, crease side, but we're going to, we're going to sort that. Because if you did actually send it anyway, you wanted to use it as a thing you can. Because that'll be the envelope side. Right, I'll show you in a minute. Right, okay. So I'm going to decide to make it about an inch deep. So I'm cutting up to the line where I fold it. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter it, um, too much where I'm cutting. So I've put putting it in here right okay and then I want to flap for the bottom that's going to be a little bit shorter you can actually cut it to size with your triangles but I'm using short scissors <laughs> I think that's the reason I'm not doing that right okay right I think what I'm going to do now yeah is this that's why yeah, so I want to make them about the same. Look, that's not even the same, is it? <laughs> it's not even straight. But anyway, I'm going to cut to there. When I cut to there, then I can cut that little bit off as well. Right, I'm going to cut a little angle there. Oops. Cut to there. So that makes that now the same. Same as this one. Let's see if we can get the same angle. You could actually put the triangle there if you wanted to get the same angle, but... I'm just doing a bit of a guesswork. Okay, so that's done that. This is your top one. And you want to do that as... Yeah, you could do that as a pattern again if you like, but I'm going to actually make it into a round bit like this. There we go, that's rounded. And the bottom as well. I'm going to make that rounded as well. And it's going to look the same both sides. Doing it like that. Okay. Wee so now we could glue it if you like. So they should be about the same. And you've got that lovely, I love this. V shape. Oh dear, is that going to be big enough? I always yeah, that's what I did last time. I did yeah, that's is a point actually. <laughs> Make sure when you're doing especially the bottom bit that you've got less of a gap than you have flap. Okay, because I had to move, I think I had to pull it up actually. 
last time I'm not doing that now. Right, so now I'm going to glue down here. So that's the tippy tip, isn't it? About that. If you get glue, obviously you need a cloth. Oh dear, my glue cloth is gone again. Gone again. Right, I've got this, but I don't really want to use that glue cloth. That's my glasses. Oh no, it's there. I'll put them in there. That's where I put them. That's my faithful look at it. Oh, needs doing. Right, okay, so now. Oh, that just fits. <laughs> yeah, so it is a good point, actually. Make sure you're not going to do those too deep. Unless you can have a really deep. I don't think it would matter. Right, then that is going to be the probably the thing that you see in it because you want the flap either open or oh, doesn't it look good though when you've got these actually it does match as well surprisingly it actually matches hmm well it matches the length and that way anyway right so right fussy cutting right I'm actually that it could benefit from this side that I think I like that I like that way it sort of reminds me of wallpaper I like it but if you didn't like it, you could do something with it. I've got to find me bits. Oh, it's there, look. It's hiding over that one. I just got to put a card in, didn't I? I found a, that index card um, fitted perfectly. I don't know if that one in here. Oh, well, it's quite deep. <laughs> but the index card did fit. Per Actually, it does, yeah. See, that's the one I've done there, look. I've got a different pattern. I've got the same thing, but a different pattern inside. <clears throat> But I did some, got some fussy cutting pieces. Right, so this is what I've done on here. This uh, did I do that one? I don't know if it's that. I don't know. Anyway, I found. I know it doesn't really matter about that, does it? That looks like it belongs to that design underneath. But when you open it, you can see you've got a nice. But you could have obviously put that over the top, and then you've got that as well, and just cut it off here. Right then, so that's this. Look, I'm going to oh, because I've got a little bit of glue on it. Mm. Right, so that's the back, which I thought was fine because you'd probably most likely see this. I think that's a good excuse actually to, <laughs> to do that. But I like that. I like the way that looks. I didn't like, why didn't I like the way that looked? Because it looks the same. But I like the way this looks. Hmm. Hmm. I've done. On another one, I've used this, but I don't know where it is. I've used this on another one. I think that would probably look all right on there, wouldn't it? But I used the leaves, so what I'm going to do... I, I use the leaves. I cut the leaves off. I'm going to try and have a look. Right, OK. OK, so I've got these, but I've, obviously you've got little bits of white here. You can pr I've printed them on brown paper before. Brown, Not brown paper, only brown paper, but... Um, no, probably say equivalent to coffee dyed paper. What I'm doing is getting a bit of this. I wish I had a pale one. I can't find my paler one. So I'm using a bit of this. That's what I've got handy. Because I've got pink in the background. I think it would look okay. Just doing a few, a few little marks. And there are the pink bits. There are the white bits. Yeah, there's another bit there that I haven't done. I don't know, it's just, just some, that's what I had handy. I mean, I could have got my paint out, but I thought, no. You can use crayon, actually. Crayon would be probably really, look at all the fussy cutting, <laughs> the fussy cutting bits. Right, so I'm thinking about putting that here or somewhere. Ooh, that would look quite nice, wouldn't it? If it overlapped or anything, I'm going to cut them off. I'll probably make it go one side. Yeah, down here. Down there, yeah. I don't think it's that way around. I think it's actually that way around. Oops, that's getting caught behind there. Right, okay, there. So I'll cut those off. So I'm going to put that on. Just checking with recording. Oh, look, it's not there. Do you know what? It's not friends, is it? Not friends at the moment. You've left my pin off again, it says. I'm not friends with you now. What's it? <laughs> there we go. Whoa, oops. Right, I don't know where we're going, like, I'm not sure. Right, oh yeah, we were, it was definitely that way around, wasn't it?
There we go. That's fine. You don't really notice that's not there. So you can come along and do things like that. I think it's beautiful. So that's the vintage postcard collage kit. Alright, we're on number four. Oh, we're not. We're still on number three. Sorry, I've got to just stick this on. Still number three. Where are we? Where are we? Right. I think I was going to put it here. Right, so that's what I decided to put after all. Just this. Okay, so I think that looks really nice now. That side's plain. But that side probably wouldn't be seen as much as this side. That's why I've left it like that. Okay. Oh, we could put. I don't know what we could do. Just just before we finish. For this, I like that. <laughs> right there. So let's see. If, oh, is this the right sort of pink? It is, isn't it? Right. I don't know whether to take that out of the and put it like that or like that. Or even like that. <laughs> I don't know. I might take it out of this. Because you can, you know. I've been working for ages without much... Di well, <laughs> I tried not to do any digitals. <laughs> but I managed to... Um, to sneak a few in like butterflies. I didn't, I didn't actually realise the word digitals. <laughs> but never mind. So there we go. Um, so that's two. That's two ideas. Look, the different sizes. <laughs> you can't see the join of that actually, apart from there. And you get your glue cloth, uh, or you get your fingers. Let's make sure that's not got any on it now. It's just underneath. Right then, so that's that then. Here's this one. Right then, so uh, this one is a inspired by a treasure books one. So what did she do? Well, she did it different. I think she's done it different to me, actually. Hmm. Well, I did it different to her, rather, because she did it first. <laughs> right. Um, uh, what's her name? Natasha. Right. Did you know there's no H in Natasha? Right. Right. So what I'm going to do is look for that. Well, guess what I've discovered? I didn't know. I did not know, but <laughs> I've actually done this. I've got actually um, use this. I thought that was quite appropriate to the envelope. So that's in the engraved flowers, um, engraved flowers journal kit, or it says engraved floral journal kit in some in the, I think in the actual um, one, right online. Uh, never mind. I found that. So you've got a green version, if you like, as well for you flowers but I like the, I like the grey because it's like a proper envelope but we have got it in there and I didn't know <laughs> I did not know but anyway that's the um, the vintage postcard college kit and that is the bold flowers in pink journal pages so that's what I've done like so I think that looks really nice I think that and that look really nice don't they yay yay and the good thing is that Jackie's um, prices are brilliant I like their prices so that's a good thing about that. So if you wanted to get four, it wouldn't cost you. I mean, you've got it 100. I think you've got 100 um, printouts usually, haven't you, when you do that? Oh, I don't need to do that. I've got me. Um... Yeah, so you get 100 printouts anyway. So I think that would be a lifetime, wouldn't it, really? I'm going to. Right, what she did when she did her. Um, Natasha, with no H. <laughs> Natasha has got an H in the name. It's an S with an accent on it, with a thing on it. So if you do see me spell it, I haven't spelt it wrong. It's just got an accent. <laughs> yeah, that's because she's on. Um, I've seen her on the groups. And I've seen how to spell her name. Otherwise, I'd not not have known. Right, okay. You could actually use that side. That side's so pretty. And you could use that as the inside, couldn't you? But I like. I'm going to use that as the inside because it's supposed to be. It's like a surprise. Right. I think I'm going to do it like this. Sort of like that and like this and then what you tend what you do bearing in mind the shapes of other things change the shape of anything so you could I don't know come along and perhaps even do things like this to this bit that sort of thing 
Okay, and then I am going to, you've got to obviously have a bit that you're going to go around, so I could leave that bit there. Right. So I'm going to come along like this. I'm going to try and be straight there because that's got to wrap around that bit. Okay, ish, I'm straight ish. That's not going to break off. Right, and then you can do it differently on different sides. Okay, well, I'm going to now, uh, perhaps we could do zigzags. As long as we're not going to come too far out or in, I think it should be fine. Just use your imagination. Right, okay, and this bit as well. Oh, yeah, well, that's <laughs> that's supposed to be in, isn't it? It's going to be different on both sides. We've got that, that, and then this, which can be, let's think. Hmm, it's like I've got it different both sides. So let's do this. We can do it like uh, this, can't we? There, so it, as if it looks like it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I've left a bit of a gap there. And you know, that's what Natasha did, so. Oh, and it doesn't even join. Oh, well done. We wonder if we could fold it round a bit. Hmm. Yeah, we could try that because I actually would. Yeah, we'll have it like that lot. Then you've got a peak of the inside, haven't you? That's my excuse anyway. Oh, <laughs> there is a problem there, isn't there? I can see that. Right, so there's a problem there. So let's go. Now, you don't realise these things because I've got no logic. And you didn't know, did you? All oh, right. Oh, perhaps you did if you're very, very observant. Right. I'm sure the people, I mean, there's people <laughs> who will notice these things. Right, so that could be stuck down there, couldn't it? So we could have a bit of interest. There we go. Why not like, have it like that? And so you can do so you can experiment, have fun. If you've got odd bits of paper that don't fit, how about that? And that'd be good, wouldn't it? Fun like that. Well, I'm having fun with this paper at the moment, and I've got I have got scraps of this paper now because I've been having so much fun. <laughs> so there, right? Anyway, I've just print I have just freshly printed this one off though because I wanted to specially use that. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's actually sticking to that. I want it underneath. There we go. Come on, stick down. Right. So there. Look. So now we've got that so now it's it's what I did was let's see if I can find them <laughs> so what's ideal then so this is ideal to decorate them with I love black and white there we go so that one's like you can put it either there I've got I like my elephant one where is it right there and so this is the elephant one I did did I show you this earlier I don't know did I right so this is one I did and I cut it out of there's a sheet that looks like this but big yeah, and I've got the gaps there because otherwise you won't fit everything on because this is A4 paper rather than letter letter paper. <laughs> right, so it was like this, and I cut him out of there. I didn't used to like elephants, but when I was a child, I thought elephants are so boring, they're so cumbersome. <laughs> I think what made me like them was the um, was that I think there was a video, was there a video or there's something I saw? It might be on television of a mother elephant protecting a baby against humans and that, that really really uh, made me love them <laughs> I thought how, how lovely that was I mean they, 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 oh yes and they called her mad didn't they they said she was a mad mad elephant but she wasn't she was just protecting a baby and that really really made me love them right totally changed my mind <laughs> right um so you've got that those sheets and there's a there's a list of the whole sheets and plus this one um, so you can put anything like that on your envelope. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I think about these time pieces. It's this one. Right, it's something that would fit. Oh, I don't know what would fit. Would that fit? No, that would be too. That would be too big. Oh, there's the compass. Let's get another one. See what else we've got. Yay! Got something in the. It is like a mirror, but it could be a picture frame, couldn't it? Typewriter. Yeah. Does that fit on there? No, that's too big. That's too big. That's too big. Mmm, strawberry. Oh, 
That would fit perfectly. Look, it's easy to cut out as well. <laughs> what a cheat. I would move it up there a little bit as well because then you've got sort of, otherwise you should put it there. I don't know, it looks a bit odd, I think there. There in the, up that way a bit. Oh, is that not straight? I don't think it's supposed to be straight, is it? Because obviously that goes in as well, actually. Never mind. Right then, what you can do then, because I've got this gap. Right, so I'm going to come along here. Let's copy this. Copy the... Um, I'm copying the um, crisscross, whatever it is. you could come along and go as well there we go just added a little bit extra at the top there yeah so that sort of like fills in that space now so 50 cents in canada yeah, there we go that um i think it was yeah 50 cents yeah. there we go so there. and then you can put things on the back if you like as well we could get some of those little items could we? so you've got this one as well i think it's brilliant um i could put a time piece on the back because i've got this it's got room now how about something like, would that fit there? I think it would. So you can mess about with these as well, can't you? Right. Yeah. Hold on, where's the... Ah, look. This is what you've got to do. You've got to make sure all your down, all your bits are down. Hatch, batten down the hatches. There we go. Back on that ship. <laughs> batten down the hatches. I want something up here. What's on the front stamp? Mm -mm -mm. Want something that's going to fit. I don't like the key. Strawberry. That's random, isn't it? <laughs> Strawberry, I think. Oh, key. I'm going to do the key. Right, yeah, that key's big enough. I don't know, is, it, is the key going to be big enough to carry that off there? Oh, it looks a bit lonely, doesn't it? <laughs> lonely. Uh, lonely, lonely strawberry. Um, right, I suppose it's a key to time. I'll put it there. Key to time. How big is this? Is that too big? Let me have a look. It's going to be too big, isn't it? Key there and a person there. Oh, it's just a bit too big. Do you know what we could do, don't you? <laughs> Let's cheat. I'm going to cut this little bit shorter. Yep, we can, can't we? Yay. And then we can have her there. We can have her. Shall we have her to the side like that? Where's the key gone? What's there? There we go. That looks fine. I don't think you should. I don't think you should put anything here, unless you're going to do something like um, a doodle or something. I don't think, oh, I've done that. I don't need to do that. Right. So now I'm going to. Do you think she'll no, not straight because that looks odd. And I've got to be that way or that way. I think straight looks too I don't know. Should she have a lying down like that? Yeah, I think lying down a bit. Yeah, we'll have a reclining like this. There we go. So she's reclining and I need a thing. I'm going to definitely do some faux stitches or something. Yeah, I think that looks great, doesn't it? There's no real, oh, yeah, we've got some, we don't need to put stitches on that, do we? Right. Right. I think that looks lovely. <laughs> so that's really, that's really hot punch. Perhaps you could put something there, I don't know, as well. Yeah, so there's that one. Obviously, I didn't do it so drastically on the on the elephant 
one I didn't do on the back. I just did those that. When I did that, didn't I? I didn't do that. I need to, oh, I need to do that on there because I've got, got that. A bit of a green edging, yeah. So that looks great, doesn't it? Okay, so some papers have a way round, so that it's got to be a certain way round. So I've decided that I am going to do seven. So I'm going to do the torn effect for this one. That's it. Right, you can decide how big you want it. I would say uh, uh, four inches ish. Uh, what I used in the other video, um, got the idea from Pam at Paper Outpost. So uh, I use book pages, which I'm using the back, using this instead. And on the back you have that beautiful, where is, why is this being, why am I doing that? That on the back. So we're going to, so what's the big bit? The big bit is the middle bit, isn't it? The second biggest bit will be this bit and the smallest bit will be the top. Right, so we're going to try and keep them all the right way round. Oh, so I'm going to have to perhaps even add something to that, aren't we? Because that looks a bit bare there. So I'm going to cut about here. And then that's got to be a bit bigger than that, hasn't it, really? So we're going to cut about... Yeah, we can cut about here. Right, so what you would do then is... You'd have to have two upside down and one the right way round. So these two would have to be upside down. And don't be confused, you'll see why. And that'll be the upside that'll be upside down. All you've got to do is make sure they're all in line. Okay, could actually cut a little bit off, couldn't we? <laughs> um cut a little bit off of this. And cut a little bit off of this. That would have made the picture wrong, wouldn't it? Right then, so I'm gonna get some stick glue. Stick glue, where are you? Oh, you didn't see any of that, did you? <laughs> I don't know where I cut it off. Oh, I know. I probably it's probably when I went to get my glue, didn't I? So you probably did see. Oh, you didn't see me glue it on, did you? You probably didn't see my green, get my green mat out and glue it on. So what I've done is glued it on that piece of backing paper there. So we've now got that the right way, right way up, that the right way up, and this the right way up. So all these feathery things are all now the right way up. Okay. See, that's what I did. See, it wasn't mad after all. And now all I'm doing now is looking for something to go here because I think it would benefit from something going there. So I've decided I'm going to put the butterfly there. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> there we go. So that's now. That's another little envelope, isn't it? Oh, I've pulled it apart just a minute. We've got to glue it back together, haven't we? So that's that one. Oh, you could put a word, couldn't you? Oh, let's see what colours we've got. Right, I'm using that orange to match the butterfly. I'm going to put that down there. Because the, the orange didn't really go, but it does now. <laughs> There we go, how about that? So that's the right way up, that's the right way up, and that's the right way up. That looks quite nice on there. I don't know, it seems to look really nice. Now, this is something to do with, that's quite orangey, I suppose. Ooh, let's just put a bit of, should we put a bit of... Um... And it's so simple, this one. It's the simplest, I think it's the simplest envelope. Was it simple? <laughs> Simplest envelope in the world, yeah. We decided on this one. It's got a different. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> oh, I don't think. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter, does it? And oh, let's have it about four. Da, da, da. So this is the easiest envelope in the world. Have I already got it on upside down? I can't even tell. You can't tell which way round this is. <laughs> that's good, isn't it, though? In this instance, all right, so that's the right way up then, can't you? So that's the right way up because that makes those the right way up. Although I do think it's the other way around, really. Oh, you don't even have to, you don't even have to decorate this, so that's even simpler. Right, so 
so all you've got to do is fold it as long as whatever length you like and make it whatever length you like but obviously you will need to make sure you've got enough and just fold it down and all you've got to do is do the same as the other one there we go this is which is what Pam did and I thought that was amazing <laughs> I can't remember if she did it recently or oh, it's an older video I can't remember right that's all you've got to do and that's done and then you can just face sewing all sorts you can do yeah let's have some face sewing on because that would make it I think that would sort of give it a border wouldn't that let's have some nice bold stitches there we go and that's all you've got to do <laughs> I don't even have to do the face stitches if you want but I thought it might make it quite a nice little touch there could always put a word on it can't we um Any sea pitch? No, no sea pitch. Right, and then we can just do some dots or something on here. There we go. And that's brilliant, isn't it? Ooh. I wonder if we can find all our <laughs> all our uh, things. Right, so this is the one I'm going to do at the end, the last one. I've decided to. I don't know which one I want to choose. But I've done three backgrounds for these. I've done three sort of like these. Oh, you could also put that green one. I think I've done one with the green, haven't I? As well. I've got one. I'm sure I've got one where with the green. I want to do the brown one with the green. I think that was a green. Let's pull up. Let's that. Yeah. Right, I want to pile them up, didn't I? Let's get that. Um, right, quick tidy up debating what size to make. I think I made it, I must have used this side last time. I had all, I had all this paper. It's, um, let's have a look. Let me tell you what it is. And that's obviously the engraving um, thing, right? Engraved flowers journal kit. You can also get this in green in the bold flowers in pink journal pages. But the other side, I think, is the vintage postcard journal kit. Vintage postcard journal kit, collage kit, sorry, <laughs> journal kit, collage kit. So it's, it's vintage postcard collage kit. So I'm going to use this side, I think, this time. No, that side is last time, that side this time. Let's see what I've got underneath. I've got that. That's interesting, isn't it? Right, so we're gonna, I'm going to half it. Half it means, um, and that's ten and a half. So that's just over four inches. Okay, right, so let's do the gusset envelope, which is what I was going to do. Right, I was going to not use all of it, I was going to cut off uh, three inches. Okay, and then I'm going to I divide it into one and a half. I didn't do it with this last time, I don't know what I did it with. So you fold it in half on the outside. Just fold it in half so you can see the inside rather and then you'll fold it like this and then like that so you've got an M or a W. M or a W, whichever way you want to do like. And the same with this one. You take this and you decide which one you want for the top or which one for the bottom. I think that ought to be the bottom. Oh, no, well done mate. We've got to, I think we've got to turn it upside down haven't we? I don't know. I don't know how you do Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, so you want it something like, how big's the other one? How much did I fold it down? Or even rounded the corners lot. So I folded it down about that much. Let's have a look. Aha, so I didn't fold it all the way up. So I'm folding it up to about here. There's the bend. There. Okay. And that's on the side anyway, so <laughs> that's just that happens to be the right way around now. Right, so we shall round the corners then, yes. Right, I rounded the corners on the large. Okay, so this one we've got, we have a little expanding bit because we're going to put these in. Just got to make sure these are a little bit shorter so you've got room for it to go. So I'm going to make them as long as this. Okay, scissors. 
Here's you. Thank you. So they need to be about there, and these need to be this. These, this one, which has been attacked by something, needs put them up. Definitely. She was saying, "Why have we done it? Why has she done it one side and done it the other side?" And they will be not watching the rest of the video. <laughs> right. So then you want this on the outside because that's got to be that matches the outside. Right. Now I've got to find, I've put my glue off. Oh, look, it's got its pin in. Always oh, got its pin in here. Right. So then we put this here. And I make sure it comes to the top here and the bottom can deal with itself and I'm making sure it's a little bit away from the edge there. okay so that goes on the outside and then it's easy to just glue these just a little blob there that's and then you can just fold it up whichever way you want that forward or that back, whatever. There we go. Yeah, that would look nice with a green one, wouldn't it, in between? I think I've got one somewhere, don't wait, one. <laughs> right, so then you've got that. And then you've got the little thing that we like to do. Right, cereal box. Right, so I've got those two, five eighths an inch and an inch. Decided, right, so we cut to each of these. Right, and I've got something to tell you in a minute. Right. right, I put all notes there. I can say I cut five because one went, one went AWOL, but I think I've got them all. So what do we do now? What do we say? What do people tell you? People say that you can't glue cereal boxes together. You can. You can if you do it like I do. So I'm going to actually glue these two, that one and that one together. Right, right, if you leave it like that, it will slip, it will go like this, it tends to do that. So what you do is, wherever they are, there they are, you get one of these little clips and you clip it or whatever you've got, like a, uh, what do I call them? <laughs> oh, paper clip, that's it. I keep calling it safety pin. So if I ever tell you, tell you I'm, I'm, I'm clipping some paper together with some, a safety pin, you'll know what I mean. Okay. Right, so that's the um, other one. There we go. And there's your. Oh look, we've got a we've got a leaker. <laughs> it leaks. All right, okay. So again, you do that with the other one. So then I've got a bigger one here as well. Like so you keep that like that. And don't let it move. And then you've got while that's drying, you get the your circle and you get some of this. You get this and get that and you get the other. Right, hold on, that's I've still got soap in it. Okay, so we do this. So you can have it the same if you like or different. And then you glue that onto there. Okay. You can always have it upside down, I suppose, if you want the grey to show. That's done it. Right, so that's now got card on both sides. So card should stick to card. You don't have to use this. One of the things you can use is... You can use a brad and put some of those, oh, what do they call them? Eyelet things on, on, the, on the brad to, to lift it up. Um, foam, instead of these, foam will do it and eyelets will do it as well. Because I've, I've got videos with eyelets, you've probably seen them. <laughs> Depends if you've been watching me for a while. But if, yeah, there is videos with eyelets, definitely. So then you glue these onto here in the middle and you can actually hold it with this again. Okay, like that. Let's keep it. Make sure it stays on. It doesn't and it shouldn't slide about because it's all card now. Let's see. It is sliding about, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So we're going to get some. So nothing glues to nothing on here. Um, no. Right then. So we get this one. Yeah. Oh, so this one goes on here somewhere. Perhaps there. And you can glue it and put it where you like. But, oh yeah, another thing you can do actually is not have, you don't have to have many. You can have one here and one here. It looks nice. Should have done that one, shouldn't I? Who? Never mind. I've done it now. Right. And I've got some gorgeous string, you know. I'm going to try and make sure that doesn't stick. Uh, right. And that goes there like that. Perhaps I should have put it at the top that one. That string 
coloured. Right, I tend to put this, the tie it at the side rather than the top or the bottom. If you ever tied it at the top or the bottom, you'll probably understand what I mean. But if you've never tried that, <laughs> but uh, I've usually I've tried it, I've tied it, tied it at the side ever since I've encountered problems. So that goes in there, and then I'm going to do it again. I don't know why I've twisted it round. Oh, that's, I don't know if that's going to work now. Do you know what I did last time when I was when I was making the other one? <laughs> Cut this one off. <laughs> and I nearly cut that one off. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. So even though it's off camera as well as on camera. Right, there we go. And you can do it how you like. And I don't have, I hope that stays anyway. <laughs> right, so not very good for cutting string. So you can obviously do figures of eight as well, can't you? I'm just going to see how much that goes. Right, so you can go like that as well. Anyway, there's your little gusset envelope, so there's ready to store whatever you like. I have, um, you know, you can call it, cover things with papers like this. You can make mini postcards and have random things on it like... <laughs> oh, I haven't got them over here, they're down here somewhere. Yes, those random things on that, uh, what's it called? Um, vintage postcard college kit. No, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's got all those random things. But I love this, don't you? It's, uh, I can't remember his name. Morris Pillard, isn't it? Oh, she did say it's a bit like William Morris, isn't it? Well, I think it's Morris somebody. I just say on her group, her, um, her Etsy shop. I know it's Morris. It's like William Morris and Morris, but the Morris is spelt differently. Right. So there's that. Right. So here's my pile of envelopes. Let's see what we've made. There should be seven. Right then, so let's go through what we have done. Right, number one, that's a number one. They're number ones, aren't they? Number one. That's a number one we did on video. That's number two, I think we did on video. If not, it's the second one. Right, that's number three. That's not what I did on video. That's the one we did on video, number three. Number four is the wacky one, isn't it? The cute elephant on the other one, yeah. Um, that's another one of those. Number five, I think these look really nice. I'm glad they did that. They look really nice, don't they? And it's quite substantial because it's it's been backed as well. That's number five, the one we've got all the with everything the right way up. This is number six, where you've just glued down the sides. And number seven, which is the number seven I did. It's this one, that's the one I did on video because remember the buttons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've done them both right. I've done them both. Like that. Yep, yeah, that's definitely one I did on videos. That's number seven. Okay, so if you like my content today, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video with your friends. Press the notification bell with your crafty fingers. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And please join, join my Facebook group, Hazy Crazy Arts. And guess where? Facebook. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks so much and goodbye.